Do you currently have solar panels that are not producing enough electricity for your home? Hi, I'm Sinue Montoya with Drunk Quote. One of the things we often get asked about is adding solar panels to people's existing solar panel systems. Only diamonds and the Wu-Tang Clan are forever. So although panels degrade rather slowly, it's not uncommon for people to want to add to their existing system. In this video, I'll discuss some reasons why people decide to add panels and also cover some things that you should keep in mind as you go about doing it. Reasons why homeowners decide to install additional solar panels are typically relative to the cost of electricity and how much additional power they're buying from the utility. This comes from either having outgrown their existing system or from the fact that they know that they're about to increase usage from something like an electric vehicle or a new hot tub. And in places like California, where peak rates are as high as 60 cents per kilowatt hour, it sure makes a lot of sense for people to add to their existing systems. When I installed solar on my house, I used a disrespectful amount of electricity because I didn't care. I had just installed solar and I had as much electricity as I needed. Fast forward only five years, and I was paying the utility $1,000 a year because I had outgrown the capacity of my system. One of the first questions we get is, how much does it cost to add to my existing solar panel system? The cost will depend on how many panels you end up installing. But unless you're installing more than 15 panels, there are usually premiums you pay when you install anywhere from the minimum up to about 14 or 15 panels. That's why it's so important to be aware of any potential changes in usage in the future that may take place before you install solar panels in the first place. To start the process, the Ghostbusters might ask, who are you gonna call? Is your previous installer still in business? If they are still in business, you'd wanna start by calling them because it'll help you keep your warranties all in one place. I would still recommend getting additional quotes, but getting started with the company that you first installed with is always the best place to start. If the installer you first hired to install your panels is no longer in business, this is known as a Norfin solar panel system and unfortunately is not too uncommon. Luckily, this won't stop you from adding additional solar panels, but the new panels added would be an independent system of your existing panels because no installer is going to want to take on the liability of another contractor's work. While adding additional solar panels is not difficult in and of itself, there are sometimes challenges in getting quotes from installers if you only want to add a small number of panels. In some cases, installers will have a panel minimum of some sort, usually between eight or 10 panels in order to take on the job. Unless you like solar so much and want to install it a third time, I would recommend that right now you go bigger if you have the space for it. As you add more solar panels, you will want to ask the installer you're working with if you need to upgrade the capacity of your main service panel also known as the breaker box. If you do have to take on this additional work, the upside is that you'll get a tax credit on it because it's part of the electrical work to install the entire solar panel system. Next, let's discuss inverters because depending on who installed the system before, you may be able to tie and do the existing inverter. If you have an existing microinverter system, then it makes all the sense in the world to stick to an additional microinverter system. When people add solar panels to existing systems, Oftentimes, they take advantage of the effort to also include a home battery. While this has an effect on the cost of adding additional panels as a whole, adding a battery at this point would likely be more cost effective than circling back in the future to only add a battery then. And finally, some utilities give themselves the right to change the net metering agreement with you if you add solar panels. Don't find yourself in the position of being surprised by any change. If you're thinking about adding additional solar panels to your system, call your utility and find out what that change may incur. When we field questions from homeowners wanting to add additional solar panels to their existing systems, our responsibility is to let the homeowners know if adding additional solar panels is in their benefit or if perhaps there are better alternatives to installing more panels. This is exactly why being a solar fiduciary sets drone quote apart. If you want more information about installing additional solar panels on your roof or to the existing ground system that you may have, go to the link below and we'll give it to you straight. And to those who have installed additional panels, 
Let us know in the comments below how it worked out for you. I'm sure people thinking about doing it would love to hear from you and your insight. We work hard to build valuable educational content to help you make sound buying decisions. If you liked this video, please consider giving us a subscribe and click on the notification bell to be up to speed with Drum Quote. Hasta la vista, baby!